What's up, guys? It's your boy, Ty, and I'm back with another Fifine microphone. I'm excited about this one because this one is new. It just came out, and it is the Fifine AmpliTank Tank 3. This thing just came out. You guys can tell because typically, Fifine's packaging looks a little like this sleek in design and this of course is what you're hearing right now this is the fifine k688 after we unbox the tank 3 we will you know get to see what this sounds like compared to this a little backstory the fifine k688 that you're hearing it is meant for podcasting so this is a dynamic microphone that is meant for that broadcast sound you guys can see what it sounds like now and the features on this microphone are also for podcasting but it did a lot more on this microphone so maybe it might outdo the fine k688 and this microphone holds up you guys can hear it sounds pretty good but let's put it to the test. Of course, the first thing you get is the user manual, but you guys can just stick around and we're gonna go through everything that this mic can do. In the box, you're gonna get a USB-A to USB-C cable. And this allows you to go ahead and hook it up to USB mode. And if I didn't state that earlier, just like the Fafine K688, you can hook this up with USB mode or XLR. So of course, looking at this package, this package doesn't come with an XLR cable, so you will need that and also an interface, but I'm sure you already knew that, right? If you're looking for a nice interface, make sure you check out Fafine's interfaces. They also have the Fafine SC1 and the Fafine SC3. I prefer the SC3 just because it has a little more features. But um, if you need an interface, Fifine has you covered on that too. Okay, and now we're gonna pull out the microphone itself. Woo! First thing I like to say is the way it's made, it's tough. It's tough. It is metal, all metal. See, that is one of the features that this doesn't have. If you have the Fifine K688, you will know that it doesn't feel as sturdy. But this right here, just look at it, just look at it. It's pretty, it's pretty tough money, pretty tough money. And you guys can see the size compared to the 688, um, about the same in length. But again, this is heavy. And one thing that I'm noticing is this doesn't have a windscreen. One of the things about the Fafine K688 is the windscreen. A lot of times you're gonna notice that the plosives come through the Fafine K688 a little more. Um, I, as a quick fix to this, if you wanna keep this microphone, you can swap out the windscreen. I typically do have that swapped out, but you know, I left it all with what comes on it. But this, this must be so good, it doesn't even come with a windscreen. I've seen microphones like this before, and they even come with a windscreen. So that means this microphone must have a lot of built-in filters so you don't hear those plosives. But we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna test it out. So that's all really that's in the box. Now, first, we're gonna plug it up with XLR. I prefer XLR with any microphone just because XLR gives you a little more power and you can hear it. I got it plugged up to my interface and that's what you're hearing right now from the Fine K688. But I'm gonna go ahead and swap over and plug up the Fine Tank 3. And we're gonna see what this thing sounds like. All right, guys, so now I'm plugged up with XLR coming from the Fifine Tank 3 USB XLR microphone. And tell me, how does my audio sound? How does this audio sound compared to the Fifine K688 that you were hearing a little earlier? We're gonna do a back and forth in a minute, but take a look at the microphone. You guys can see it looks nice. This is how it would look if you had it hooked up to a boom arm. And this microphone is powerful enough that you can place it out of shot. 
is noted that once your microphone is in XLR mode, like with most microphones, these knobs are useless. The mute button at the top is useless. You do all of that from your interface. So yeah, all of this is not necessary if you're using XLR mode. So again, this is how it looks. It looks pretty legit and if you don't, want the knob showing, all you have to do is if you're going to be using XLR mode and you don't want all those knobs showing, you just turn your microphone around because of this nice stand that it comes with. You can just flip the microphone around and bam, look. This microphone looks great. I love the look of it. And again, this is all metal solid bill. And because they have a lot of built-in filters, you don't need a pop filter. So let's do that test now. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. So how does that sound when it comes to rejecting those plosives? Please bring pizza pronto. And this is me just talking a little slightly away from the microphone as you are supposed to. Now, if you talk directly into it like this, please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. It's still not that bad, right? It sounds great. Great. So I do like the sound of this microphone, but how does it stack up to its predecessor? Again, this is, microphone is a little more expensive than this one slightly, but this is supposed to be the upgraded version of this. So let's test it out right now and see if it lived up to it. Both are great podcasting microphones. People like to ask me, what do I do to my audio? I don't do anything to the audio. All I do is turn up or down the gain in um, my post editing just to make sure everything sounds smooth across. So I might change the volume, but that's it. I don't mess with mids. I don't mess with highs, lows. And I say that because you're going to hear a difference in these two microphones. You are. But it is not me doing anything. I just change the game in case I was talking too close to the microphone or not close enough. I like to even it out. That's the only thing I do. All right. So now you're about to hear the audio from the Fifine K688. This is the audio from the Fifine K688. How does my audio sound? So this audio kind of, it's hard to tell, right? So let's go back one more time. This is the audio from the Fifine Amplitank Tank 3. How does this audio sound? You can hear a slight difference. Let's check it out again. This is the audio from the Fifine K688. Tell me, how does my audio sound? This sounds great. Both microphones sounds great, but to me it is a slight difference in the two. Again, this is the audio coming from the Fifine K688 plugged in with XLR. XLR. The fine this is the Fifine Amplitank Tank 3 plugged up with XLR. This microphone is great for podcasting. So you do hear a slight difference in these two microphones. To me, right now, it sounds like the Fifine Tank 3 sounds a little more clear. A little more clear. It still has that podcasting sound that the Fifine K688 has, but this sounds a little more crisp, if you ask me. Sounds just a little more crisp with the clarity. But we can go back one more time. And I'm not saying this sounds bad, but the difference to me is just the clarity. This right here, I feel like it's giving my voice just a little more bass, a little deeper. I feel like that's what the Fafine K688 is doing compared to, to the Fafine Tank 3. And again, this is XLR mode. I can go back and forth all day. Both sound so good. It's kind of hard to pinpoint which is better, right? 
but let's go ahead and go to USB mode and see if we hear a big difference there. So now I have the Fifine Tank 3 plugged up to USB mode and I have it plugged directly into my laptop. You can plug it up to your laptop, your phone, your PlayStation, whatever takes that USB port. All right. And this is how the audio sound. So a few functions on the microphone that work now that we have it plugged up to USB. Of course, you have a mute button at the top when it's green. You can hear people can hear you. It's live. When you hit the red button, it's not live. And you have simple knobs for your the first one is for your microphone i have it cut all the way up and the second one is for your headphones i also have that cut all the way up and you guys let me know does it sound good to you one thing i would like to say is not a knock on thyphon but it's any microphone that's usb i'm not a fan Usually I love the sound of XLR because you have a lot more power. Right now I have this plugged up with USB and I kind of can barely hear myself. That is just normal. That's what you're gonna have when you use USB microphones. The sound sounds great, but you're not gonna have as much power as you do with XLR. So I would recommend anyone, if you want to hear the power and sound you know a little more powerful while you're doing whatever and you can hear it better i would definitely recommend go ahead and get yourself an interface and take advantage of the xlr features of these microphones like i said xlr is the preferred and it's the preferred sound because it's more powerful it's preferred for a reason all right and i just can always hear it when i'm doing something podcast or i'm doing a video i'm like oh man i can barely hear myself i gotta cut it all the way up and i'm still kind of low right so that's just me that's just what i think about you know usb when you're doing things with the usb even if you cut it up to the max you still you know only get a certain level of power you would have to do a lot of um post editing to cut it up which is does still sound good but just something to be aware of i would recommend that xlr but now we should compare what this sounds like compared to the fafine k688 let's check it out and again this is the fafine tank 3 plugged up to usb mode all right, so this is what the audio sounds like coming from the Fifine K688 when it's plugged in with USB mode. This microphone sounds great, but again, with USB mode with any microphone, typically you're gonna lose a little bit of that power that you have with the XLR. So again, I would recommend anyone to go ahead and you know invest in that XLR interface and just get a better quality sound while you're recording and even you know you can listen to it and it sounds a lot better again this microphone does still do the trick it sounds great but can you tell a big difference between this microphone on usb mode and the fine tank 3 on usb mode uh it's pretty close on usb mode both sound pretty good to me i really only notice one big thing that's a big difference between these two microphones and we're going to talk about it with my final thoughts so my final thoughts on the new fifine tank 3 microphone it is a great microphone if you ask me if i find listened to what people were saying about the fifine k688 and they improved everything one of the biggest problems with the fifine k688 was the windscreen this windscreen a lot of people talked about that windscreen and rightfully so if you listen back to the audio a lot of times that windscreen allows a lot of sound to come through so an extra filter is needed 
they did exactly that they made a microphone that has enough filters built in that you don't even have to worry about those plosives as much and again this microphone is so good you don't even need a windscreen so they heard the people heard what we said and they knocked it out the park oh another thing that this thing didn't have is the fine k688 is a great sounding microphone but it wasn't tough if you you hear that it's kind of hollow it's not tough you can tell it's not built tough i feel like if i drop this thing somewhere it might you know really do damage to it now if you not moving your microphone a lot and things like that that is not a problem but that was one of the concerns now this thing is built like a tank you don't have to worry about dropping this thing it's built like a tank because it's all metal top quality was put into this microphone another thing about this microphone is the knobs you know they were in the back it's kind of hard to adjust the knobs like you want to without bumping your mic and messing up your mic if you were using that usb mode now up down it's easy to access those knobs easy everything is easy and you don't have to worry about bumping anything like you did with the fifi k688 so i definitely think this is an improvement build quality now sound as up to the listener i definitely think the fifi tank 3 has a more crisp and clear sound but if you are someone that likes a little more bass or need a little more bass in your voice, you know, the Fifi K688 definitely sounds great for that extra bass, that extra low. It adds that. This gives you that more crisp clarity sound. Me, it works perfect for my voice. So I definitely would prefer the Fine Fine Tank 3 over the Fine Fine K688. And I think Fine Fine did a great job of improving their podcast dynamic microphone. The Fafine Tank 3 is a great budget microphone, sounds great, and it's made with premium quality. And just make sure you know, Fine Fine is listening. And Fine Fine is definitely giving the people exactly what they want with this microphone. Thanks for checking me out. Peace.